Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will do subtracting mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here 7 and 4 over 5 minus 3 and 1 third. These two things here are called mixed numbers. So recap lang tayo. Mixed numbers is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So later on, we also have two more examples for us to practice how to subtract mixed numbers. So let's try this one. 7 and 4 over 5 minus 3 and 1 third. I will try to subtract this vertically. So I will write this like this. 7 and 4 over 5 minus 3 and 1 third. So as you can see, Hindi pa tayo pwede mag-subtract because our denominators in the given fractions 4 over 5 and 1 third, meron pa silang different denominators. So we need to figure out their least common denominator. And to find that LCD, we need to find the least common multiple of 5 and 3. So we need to list down the multiples of 5 and 3. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. While for 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And as you can see, we already have the least common multiples, least common multiple of 5 and 3, and that is 15. So this will be the least common denominator of each denominator. So we will copy this. We have this one, 7, and then to make this 15, we will multiply 5 by 3. So we have now 15. And also we need to multiply 4 by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So this is now the new mixed number, 7 and 12 over 15. Don't worry guys, if Mano notice nyo, magkaiba sila. Still, 7 and 12 over 15 is still equivalent to 7 and 4 over 5. Hinanap lang natin yung kanilang least common denominator. And for this mixed number, we need to copy 3. And then, to make this 15, to make this 15, yung 3 natin, we will multiply it by 5. Again, eh, uh, ba bakit natin ga kailangan gawin 15 yung 3 and 5? Because, Yan yung kanilang least common denominator. At yun yung lumabas na kanilang least common multiple. So this is 3 times 5 which is 15. And then multiply 1 by 5. That is 1 times 5. That is 5. So now we are ready to subtract this mixed numbers. So first we will subtract the whole numbers. 7 minus 3. That is equivalent to 4. And for the fractions. 12 minus 5 that is equivalent to 7 and copy your common denominator which is 15 therefore guys the correct answer in item number 1 is simply 4 and 7 over 15 now let's move on with our next example so as you can see we have here these examples number 2 we have 3 and 3 over 4 minus 1 and 1 half. Now, to simplify or to find the difference between these two mixed numbers, let us use the vertical method. Vertical method. So we will copy this. We have 3 and 3 over 4 minus 1 and 1 half. So we will find the LCD of 4 and 2 by finding the least common multiple. So we have 2 and 4. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And for 4, the multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And as you can see, we already have the multiples of 2 and 4, or the least common multiple which is equal to 4. Therefore, the LCD is equal to 4. 
So we will transform this into equivalent mix number, copy 3. And since this denominator is already 4, hindi na natin kailangan mag-multiply pa ng kahit ano number. We only need to copy 3 fourths. And then for this, for this mix number, copy 1. Then this 2, you need to multiply it by 2 to make it 4, as well as your numerator. So we have now 1 times 2, which is 2, over 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. And then there you have it. We are now ready to subtract these mixed numbers. 3 minus 1, that is equal to 2. And then 3 minus 2, we have 1. Copy your denominator, which is 1 fourth. Ibig sabihin nito guys, that the final answer in number 2 is equal to 2 and 1 over 4. That's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and this is your challenge. I want you to answer or subtract 4 and 3 over 8 and 2 and 1 fifth. Comment your answer. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!